Hello, welcome back. Last time I did some pretty fun stepping stone puzzles, and also a couple of other rooms. According to a certain Zendaris, the way I've done these rooms, almost none of them have gone as he'd planned. <laughs> but I'm finding my way through anyway. Bunch of webs, and... Uh oh, it's a red spider. Okay. Uh, you're the only monster in here, though. What are you? What is this? Something to come to when the level is clear. All right, there are scrolls here. There's another room there. Wait, wait, there's another, wait. Oh, that does connect that way. Wait, I didn't go, I didn't go that way. Okay, sure. Anyway, um, I'm here now. Let's do this room. Uh, Spider, you need to die somehow. This will make a force arrow go away and... What? Okay, so the spot where I stab you is here. What's the point of closing off any of these if this is the only thing that does it and when the spider is there, the room is done? And then there's this for some reason. Okay, what am I not seeing here that... There are more spiders. There's another spider. Okay, so... Got it. Okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, that's what I'm not seeing. The thing that was invisible. Uh, okay, so... Heard a roach queen and a roach through the same force arrow maze while the roach queen lays down walls. You know, just one of those puzzles. <laughs> Every five turns. Also behind it instead of in front of. Uh, okay, so... I can stand... pretty much wherever. So basically the flow is press this orb move this around, lay down some webs, get it there, move this around, use those webs that were laid down to dodge the force arrows that would trap you. So it looks a lot to me like I want to avoid putting down webs in any of this hallway. And I would definitely want to put one here because you're going to come through there and I will want to walk all the way around here. There is no way I could ever get a web here. So instead I'll have to put one here and that'll be fine. So yeah, web spots I'd like. Actually here would be fine. Here would be good. And that's all I need, just these two spots. That would be enough, okay? And I need to be careful not to lay down too many extras. There is not okay. There is acceptable. You are going to be a pain about getting through there. Well, um, a minor pain. No, a major one. Okay, so I want this web spinning turn to happen when your butt is in this web. Okay. Uh, here is acceptable. Okay. This, so far, seems like a much more pleasant use of this element than in uh, this room. So far. Uh, okay. Web turn could come right now. That would be fine. But then when does the next one come? Is it problematic? I think I might want it one l earlier. Because if it's one l earlier, then you will then spin there. No, that would be one later. Well, same way, that works. Okay, so then if you spin here, that's what I want. 
If you spin there, that's not what I want. Therefore, I probably have to put something to your north. Oh, how would I do that? Oh. Maybe I didn't want to spin there. Maybe I wanted to spin there with you facing a different direction. Is that possible? Sure. Maybe. It depends on the timing here. Well, you can spend as much time there as you want. Because you're taking this path. That's my plan, at least. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, sure. Uh, that's not quite how I planned it. And there's no way I can get over here quick enough. Wait, hang on, but what I can do is use that turn to stick your butt in there. But no, then your butt's in the wrong place. Wait, but can't I, uh, do this? No, that's what I already did. So, now, hang on. Uh. Am I just in the wrong part of the room? What other part of the room could I be in for this? I mean, I can stealth in the water, I suppose. The things I'm doing here don't result in a web being spun there. Here will not do. Will it? I don't think it will. Okay, so if I'm to your south, I pull you through there, and you need to... Hmm. There is no way I could spin a web here, right? Because, like, in this very corner would be ideal, but how would that ever happen? A turn where you're either here facing north or here facing northeast? No, definitely impossible. Okay, so not doing that. Therefore, the web that I place here needs to be in a different place. But there are only two possibilities, here and here. Because, so this is a full wall that I can't do anything about. You will need... To be all the way south to cross it. Uh, yeah, so that, that one I can do something about. You will need to be all the way south to cross it. You need to not get stuck here. I'm going to be walking... Yeah, you need some sort of passage through there. Oh wait! Is there any way I could have you end up in this corner while I'm to the northwest of you? Because then I could pull you down and up through here without needing a barrier in this spot. Remember, this arrow will be closed, so no. Okay, that's that question answered. Okay, so, uh, then I need a web here or here. I mean, here is possible, but then that makes that into a full barrier for you. Ah, I see a move. There. Is that any good for anything? It puts one here instead of here, but... So what do you think you're going to do with that? I think there's really nothing I can do, so I don't want that. 
And I can have that that way or that way. Either way. This is too many spaces. To get there and point you upward. Like, I need to be here. Okay, where's my teleport button? Special command didn't work. Did I maybe want to, like, stash you temporarily here and get all the way around? Yeah, probably. Also, that got laid there at some point. Okay, is there some... There's no way I could do that. How did the room start? Pretty much as it is. This is not really okay because it's only compatible with spiderweb here and that's never going to happen. Right? There's no shallow water B throw can access anywhere in this range, so I can't, like, pop out and scare you from this tile. If I could, you could put a web here, you know, so same, same thing there. Could I have, instead of putting a web there, have put one here? Instead of? I don't think so. So now hang on. Um, there was still also this possibility. But that's no good. Okay, so complete impasse. Something doesn't add up. One more time. I can't get here quick enough to prevent that. Now you are blocked. The same blockage happens if I go... this way. Those are both unavoidable. There are no tunnels in this room. And there's not enough shallow water to do much. This might be meaningful, though. This whole passage here, I could surprise you... in a spot... Hmm... I mean, the way this lines up is suspicious, and the way this is all traversable, like, I can get all the way from this row to this row without being seen by anything in here. What could that make possible? Nothing with respect to this. One, two, three, four, five. More than five turns out of the water. Okay, so, valid patterns for this part of the room. What if I webbed this space? It wouldn't help anything, because if I tried to go around counterclockwise while you were in here against this wall, which would now be a wall, you would end up in there... If I would this space... Okay, if I would this space and this space... I don't think I can get this one. Sure I can. You there facing northwest. Okay. So I think my mission is to web this space and this space. Bring you down here. 
then go around counterclockwise so that you end up against that wall. I walk over here and no, you slide in there. And I can't guide you from the west instead of the south, so no. This space? Because then... Yeah, then I have something. Alright, so... Put a web here. Okay, uh, that I can just do at the beginning. Like... That. Okay. That space is fine. No space is even better. You don't need anything special in that area. So, okay. So we're good on this. I do, however, need to place a web there. Now that one, yes, I can do easily. Uh, easily, you say. Um, that's where this water comes into play, I think. So when I was here, I wanted to move there so that I gain access to the water. Wait, what do I want this water for? Now with the water, so I can scare you this direction, this direction, stop, this direction, this direction, spray out some web. Okay, your route through here is set up, I think. I still require a web here or here, but here should be trivial, I think. Okay. Let's hope so. Okay, yeah, and you can go ahead and just spin there, and that's fine. And then switch sides, and that's fine. And then I can chase you this way. There's nothing wrong with that. I think. That seems okay. That's... Yeah, that's not quite where I wanted you. But I think it might be fine. Let's just see what happens here. Acceptable. I want to be going north while this happens. Okay, sure. So I think that's the route. Uh, careful about webbing here. I'll let you put one down there. Then point your butt this direction. And I think we're good. Okay. Uh... So blue spider's moving. Is that blue? Kind of gray blue? You know. The not red spider is moving. I need to do this. I've set up one of these. I go all the way around. I guide you from the west. You avoid that arrow. I guide you from the north. You dodge everything and you get out. Perfect. Okay. I did it. Alright. That was... Uh, a little tedious, but doable. So, here are some sacks. Here's a fifth sack. Oh, <laughs> server decided to respond, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, I need a spider on this plate so I can walk in here and stab that. Okay, so I just need all four spiders with me as I walk through, wait, no. No, hang on. I can walk through here. But yeah, this does need to be held. All four spiders with me in a specific move order that will make a square here. If I'm seeing this right. Are there any stealth spiders here? It doesn't look like it. 
Okay, so... I gotta chop my way to four spiders, huh? It's not impossible I might want that one. I'll cut the ones that I'm sure about. Although I might want them as walls, we'll see. Okay, so I predict... I'm gonna want to cut this... 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 Th uh, Okay, so if I started there, maybe I could instead start... Well, could I just start here like this as I am? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, so if I were to cut... I think I'm going to leave this one, actually. Something like that is plausible, maybe? It's a little heavy on trial and error, but that's maybe fine. Uh, you're coming in there. That's... oh, that's all terrible. I hate everything about what's happening. That's preferable. I don't like the way my sword is. That doesn't help much. I'd much rather have you come in from here than that direction, so maybe I could still do that. So south... That doesn't work. So yeah, I need all four in here and in a move order that's compatible with a square formation. And also I need all four. Okay, so we got multiple problems with getting all four as it turns out. Okay, I'm gonna take this to mean I probably wanna actually start here and use this entrance. Since that went wrong in the way that it did. Okay, this is the only web connected to you, huh? Of course it is. Oh, it's gonna be a huge mess, isn't it? Alright, guess and check. That's... this is that room. The room where you do that. So, yeah. This, this, this has, this is the only connection here, so this constrains my movements severely. Is there some theoretical way I could do better than guess and check? Let's at least attempt to solve the constraint puzzle. Now, remember, there are some extra walls here that could maybe come in handy for routing. Oh, this possibility space. I hate it. It's way too large. I think regardless of move order, I can make the square once I'm in here. I can just shuffle to up there and to down there. And as long as, like, I don't go into this column and... Oh, and I also have this space for some reason. For the reason of pulling things through here... Okay, so that's a good observation. The problem that I thought I saw with... Spiders getting bottlenecked here is not a problem because of this space and because I can create the square formation regardless of move order. Okay. So as long as I have four spiders loose... In fact, this space also lets me get them past this corner. As long as I have four spiders loose anywhere in here, 
I think I'll be able to make a square formation there. So just four loose spiders walk in there. That closes immediately, so they can't follow me. All right, so four loose spiders. It would be nice to be able to walk here with my sword west with... a bunch of followers. Changing from east here all the way to west there should be totally possible. Like that. Okay, and if I could just include these two along the way... Um, let's just make sure the rest of that works the way I want it to. It appears to. Okay. So include those two along the way. I can't include you like that. Maybe like... No. Yes. No. Maybe. No. I like cutting this web. That feels good. I lose my distance when I turn my sword here. I don't like that. I can't just like stash you down here or something. Hard to imagine how this would be better than that unless... Maybe this? Okay. I imagined it. Yeah, you're accessible. Okay. Uh, right, so with you there I can do operations here all day. I think if you're the last one I cut, I can just make it work. This one doesn't matter, so okay, that would be... Cut this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Rotate. And there we go. That looks like what I need. Okay. Four spiders in a square. Uh, okay, there we go. I think there was actually a move order there that wouldn't have ever resulted in a square, but fortunately they were not in it. Okay, stab, step. Stab, 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 stab. Okay. All right, um, so yeah, secret there, got it. Last room that I know about, other than through here, seems to be. Okay, tar mother, floor spikes, pressure plate, fire trap, fire trap. Floor spikes will take care of tar babies after the fire trap goes off. The three of them that don't get fire trapped. Okay, and the fire trap turns on with four tar growths after this door opens, which happens when I step on this. There's a brain. There are a bunch of scrolls for some reason. Three of these spiders. Okay, well, everything has to start this way. You get out, and I can't move. And nothing happens except you lay eggs, okay? All right, so everything's fully synchronized. This is how I enter the room. I can change my sword facing, but I can't change anything else about the situation. These are brained. Is this a time limit, or... It's more just amount of time that I have to survive. Seems like I can just kill these, and then wait. 
but do I need them alive? What do you do? What does any of this do? Okay. Ridiculous tangle of pressure plates and doors. This is the only way into this eastern chamber. And the only way it's opening is with the tar growing. So wait another 90 turns and this door will open. That orb will close it, because of course it will. And let this in. That pressure plate will open it again. So the sequence has to be tar grows, door opens, B throw hits this orb, door closes, B throw or somebody steps on this pressure plate, maybe Spider does. And all of those doors open at once, including this pressure uh, uh, force arrow. B throw is going to stand here so that the spider can go through. So, like. Okay, and this opens with that? Okay, so the goal is get all three of these into this door ahead of me and have them pack the space full. The scrolls are anti-spider egg mechanisms. Got it. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. So, survival situation, Roach Queen Horde, um, these being brained, will that do anything? So the spiders are brained, of course. Scripted monsters... Act like wraith wings regard act like unbrained wraith wings regardless. Alright, so first I just want to mostly take control of the situation. Although, like, getting these kinda near where they need to be probably wouldn't be a bad thing. But I have to survive while doing it. Once the tar is grown in, there's no additional time pressure. This is just a survive this long, then you can do the rest of the room thing. Not like a hit this exact timing window to solve it. Also, this exists because there's a web there. You laid a, an egg sack down and it didn't hatch because there was webbing. Uh, yeah, that's not a survivable spot. This could turn into one maybe because of the way brains work, except... Yeah, okay, it did just barely. Now, um, I haven't done anything to help the spread of these. Doing that sh uh, partially does. I can load them one at a time. Okay, let's just do that. That's going to be simpler than anything else. Is it? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. I should also really, if I'm going to do this... Okay, you, you're in a pretty good place because you only lay two there. Or zero. <laughs> That's an even better number. Alright, so I claim some time for myself. Not a lot, but some. Get you loaded in there. Okay, so that's one. I'd like you to go as far over th Oh, I need you alive. As far over this way as you can. I'll let the egg laying happen. Oops. Okay. Two loaded. And space for a third. And there we go. I think that's a solve. Illegible! Huh, wonder how these scrolls even got there. <laughs> They've all rotted so bad I can't read a word on them. All right, then. So, level clear? It sure is. What about this secret here? I didn't pay attention to what was happening with the tar. Didn't need to, as it turns out. It took care of itself. Ah! Welcome to the secret how the custom element room. What? You can return to the entrance of this level by taking the stairs to the south. Uh... Most elements are pretty... Was there a word missing there? Or is it just how the custom element? <laughs> sure. 
Most elements are pretty easy to use. Just copy and paste webbing and spider sacks into your hold and they should work fine. The web spinners and spider queens require the help of a timekeeper entity, which is in the top left corner of most rooms. Basically, copying this room over into your hold will get you access to everything you need. I'm mostly using this room to point out some flaws with how things are implemented, especially the Spider Queen. Notice how that one to the southeast isn't spawning anything? Uh, yeah, that's basically the problem. Spider Queens and Web Spinners mostly decide whether they can place egg sacks and webbing respectively by the clever method of checking whether they have an open move in that direction. So the Spider Queen on a Force Arrow can't spawn anything against said Force Arrow. I see. Anyway, that's about it. Stepping on the Conquer Token in this room will insta-clear it, giving you credit for the secret, if that's all you're after. It is! Okay, and I could Seeding Beacon, I guess, if I want to see the behavior again. Okay! So, exit this. Final puzzle. You are a web spinner. The other one was called what? Spider Queen? Spider Queen. Alright. Uh... That's a fire trap. It turns on with that, which closes like that, which means I need... What now? For you to make your way on there? Seems that way. Okay. So how do I think that will happen? Or you need to make your way on there. That's much easier. You can spin some webs down there, that's fine. Uh, excuse me, why did you not turn into a spider? Oh, you did, but it's invisible because of the visibility rules. Okay, if I step here, that'll make a little more sense. Also, if I step there, you go there. <laughs> you know what, let's just not step there. That's fine. Invisible spider following me. Uh, you're making a mess there. I guess I'll have to be okay with that. Okay, let's clean up your mess. Stab. Stab. Ha. Okay. Room clear. I did it. Alright, hold clear. I did it. Ah! <laughs> uh, is there an exit to this? There is. Ah! There sure are tunnels. <laughs> All totals. Those. All secrets conquered. Great. That's the competition. I hope you enjoy the various entries. Please feel free to leave a comment on the hold thread if you have anything to say about the contest or its entries. All right. I did it. So, in review, uh, these aren't going to be in order. I don't remember what the order was. First one I did was a good portrait. Don't have anything to say about this. It's minimap art. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's minimap art, the level. Next one I did was... War 2101. <laughs> this was funny and I had a good time with it. I liked this a lot. Uh, it was extremely enjoyable for basically last place. Last place with real puzzles in it. Uh, next up was the Orthogonal Road, is that right? Or was it Bubbly Spirits? I honestly barely remember this. I guess it was just too long ago. Right, this was about, like, standing in one place for a while, so the gentry eye is on the plate and something brainy happens. I had a lot of trouble reasoning about this room because the stalwart, right. Uh, all the other rooms in here were fine, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I, I guess I didn't find this one extremely memorable for some reason. Like, it looks distinctive, but I don't know what I did in any puzzle. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just me, though. The Orthogonal Road, that gave me a lot of trouble. Um, there were some cool mechanisms in here. I have kind of mixed feelings about this level, I guess. Um, this room was nice. This room was fine. There were enough good rooms in there to balance out the ones I didn't like. Uh, next up was probably 10 minutes rooms. This is probably overall my favorite entry. Uh, this spectacular mess. It just like, with a different name, it would fit a little better. But at the same time, I appreciated the theme. I liked the theme and I also enjoyed the rooms that didn't adhere to it. 
Because they were good rooms, they just didn't adhere to the theme, that's all. Yeah, this this one gets my overall favorite, I think. Uh, unless Halloween 2021 gets it. Ooh, that's actually a stiff competition. I liked both of these a lot. Mm. They're very different. I mean, this is non-traditional Drawd. This was quick and snappy. Extremely focused little puzzles. These were less so, just kind of real fiddly. Is there other minimap art here than the roach? I don't recognize like any of those other things, but they look like they could be drawing. This could be a roach from the side, I guess. Like big antenna coming through there and like going all around. It's stepping on its own antenna. <laughs> yeah, between those two, I think I prefer traditional drawed. So I'd have to give it to 10 minutes rooms. Then version check. Um, I know this was a last minute entry and I'd say that shows a little bit, uh, but it did a lot of good things with uh, what it had. And then Spider's Domain. Um, similar feelings to the orthogonal room. The rooms I liked balanced out the ones that I didn't. But, you know, kind of... <laughs> there were definitely a lot of both. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, the make a good... Oh yeah, and then there's also a level that I didn't get to play, but author chose not to have it included, and I'll respect his wishes. Uh, and not, like, go dig it up and play it or anything. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on my own at some point. Because, you know, it should still be in the contest thread. The original, non-published compilation. But, you know. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. That's, um, what's this hold called? Make a good Drod level compilation. Okay, this one's done. Uh, and I will see you next time for a non-Drod game. That should be also a lot of fun.